if you are in Kuala Lumpur on a Wednesday, I would strongly recommend you to visit this the longest and the best night market. It is not in uh, Kuala Lumpur town. It takes about like uh, 40 minutes to drive. Uh, terrible traffic, but I can guarantee you this is the best night market I ever had in my life. And I will, I, we call it the long, long night market, which is very long. It's at uh, Taman Connock. Con North, right? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, in Cantonese, we call it Hong Lok. So here it is. Uh, the people will come over here for the food. The food are damn amazing, I let you know. You uh, have to uh, come early. Oh, those that are on the, uh, what they call, Google Maps saying that it will be open at 5, the 6.30, but um, I'm here right now at 5. It is already started. Um, this is half of the night market and then if you go straight right over there, you can see more items as well. But I'm going up to uh, this way first. Um, I will be talking a lot of nonsense. <laughs> and if you don't like um, talk about nonsense, you can mute it. So just uh, let you see that what you can expect when you come to this night market. It is quite a lot of things for you to uh, purchase <laughs> and uh, remove your mold and this kind of thing. Okay. I will go from this side first. And uh, if I have nothing to say, then I will keep quiet. I try, but uh, a lot of the viewers say ask me to talk more to entertain them. They were saying that my voice is smoothing. That <laughs> quite shy to say that. So um, I can see that most of the item here is very affordable, especially like the drinks. It's only two ringgit per cup. And then if you like to try the satay and the koropok, and you should try that. I, that is a very good snack that you can get in uh, Malaysia. And it's very hot right now. It's good as no rain. And there's a lot of the, what they call, sambal looks good. And watch your step when you come over here. Let's keep on walking. Uh, this is called TNT noodles. It's a soup eating. It's too hot for me to try this now. And uh, literally very long. I think this uh, video is going to take me half an hour. And oh, Fred Kui Tiao. I do strongly recommend you to come over here for a walk. I will guarantee that this is a night market that you can get a lot of the item that you need for sure. Uh, even though that you're not buying anything, come over here for the food and the drinks uh, and the snack is also a good thing. Or you can come over here to see the vegetable, the local delight. Some of them, some of the items that you might not seen before. Let's see, the Cha Kui Tiao is only 7 ringgit and uh, you can use a cashless uh, touch and go e-wallet. And this is the old school snack that we love it very much. So uh, some, some people, they will buy a kilo bag for to uh, watch the movie and munch. And uh, this is an uh, adult song. Uh, Sometimes, I think you might be able to get the pirated uh, music or video. And now they only save it in a thumb drive for you. This is a kind of like herbal drinks that you should try. Uh, huh. Oh, I'm quite lucky to end it a little bit early right over here. I choose the right direction. and. Take a look over here. This is uh, actually beside the expressway. And the people are actually like park their car beside the expressway to uh, visit this night market. So you can imagine that how crazy that this night market will be. Okay, let's keep on walking a little bit. Uh, try to come early before the crowd. I can guarantee you uh, when it's turned dark, you might not have a space to walk. It can be a little bit scary. So these are the snacks again, the traditional old school snack. Okay, I'm going to the other side now. Uh, I might stop and uh, try something. But uh, my last visit here is about like 20 years ago. So I have no idea which one is the best. But uh, if I try anything good, I'll let you know it's good. And this is the milk corn that you should try. It's uh, 7 ringgit each. It's white color. It's uh, quite tasty and sweet. And I've uh, never seen this uh, crystal jeep corn before. Okay, let's get on walking. Uh, hmm.
I just met a friend from Africa, uh, South Africa. She actually lives in uh, what they call uh, Germany, Hamburg, and she never seen a sugar cane before. And this is sour soap. Each of them is only oh sorry, one kilo is fifteen ringgit. It's a very very good deal. In Singapore, it's selling very expensive. And this is kind of like a sugar cane, but it's another type, kind of like herbal sugar cane, uh, slightly reddish. And uh, some people make to uh, use uh, raw sugar. And sometimes you still can able to come over here to buy some uh, pen and some of the what they call outfit. <laughs> so in case uh, you need an emergency outfit, here Pasar Malam is always a uh, best choice. So Pasar Malam means uh, night market. Pasar is market. Malam is night. And they do have fried tofu. I remember they have a stinky tofu. It smells like hell, I tell you. Very smelly, but uh, it tastes very good. And they have avocado juice as well, and the passion fruits. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking. Um, do bring your own this uh, cutlery, the reusable cutlery or uh, bag, or tote bag with you, shopping bag. It's good that to use less plastic bag. Okay, I'm going up to this side first. Okay, this is a Popmia. Seems like going to queue the good one that asks you to queue. Each is 330 and you can uh, get one here as well. So let's walk and see what else. Oh, it's too hot. So they have the daily use stuff. So, okay, so that is a stinky tofu. It really smells like hell, but uh, once you put it in your mouth, it tastes very good. So in uh, Kuala Lumpur, they have the crispy version that you should try. Crispy version usually tastes the best. And, and oh, <laughs> I can already smell it. <laughs> so I can buy the bra or this thing, a blanket, a mattress. So the stinky tofu is actually smell like a uh, drain. And uh, if you had the one, the wet one, juicy one, I can describe to you the stinky tofu is like a uh, wet tissue drop in a drain and then you put it in your mouth. <laughs> it's a very weird description but I can tell that's what I can describe and tell you about the smell. But taste is good. Taste is different and the smell is different so don't worry about that. Just like durian when it's a uh, smell, well, it might be good. So I have no idea what is this. They have uh, drinks for kids. And the banana is 1 kg is 550 ringgit. It's affordable price. Hey. So yeah, so, like something like this uh, tempered glass or screen protector is a good way, good choice for you to buy and uh, renew your screen protector. It's very important. See that? The queue is good. The Koropo Lekko is a must try when you come to uh, Malaysia. And this is a uh, dim sum. So you can have this uh, with the chili sauce, it's good. I don't like this, it's a sweet pancake. But uh, if you like to try, I will recommend you to try the one on the right side. That's a crispy version, it tastes very good. And the left side one is a thick, thick and a chewy version. So try the crispy version. That's what I can recommend you to uh, purchase. And uh, these are the dry goods. Can be a little bit uh, fishy, but uh, that's what we use it for our food. And then uh, lady, this is a place for you to do a lot of shopping. A lot of the accessory is a good place to buy like hairband all this thing. Trust me, hair, we always lost our hairband. I used to have a long hair. And then uh, this is a fried chestnut and a steamed peanut. And now there's a traditional pastry that uh, you can try. Some of them are quite sweet, but uh, it's kind of like a Chinese traditional uh, pastry. So far, I think the hygiene-wise, I still can accept this. Okay, let's keep on walking. It's a sunny day, and I no regret to come early. So. We have to be careful when you cross the road. Oh, that is very interesting. They have a uh, satay ikan or lokjin that i never seen before. It looks like a koropok on a sa satay style. Okay, let's cross the road. I'm gonna use a power pump. <laughs> and I'm not sure what people are queuing this for. It looks like something quite unique. Okay, maybe I'll queue for that later. I will walk on the right side first and then I will show you the left side when I'm coming back to collect my car. Okay, 
it's burning hot burning hot it's burning hot it's humid it's very humid so we can uh, buy the, this uh, ice cold drinks and uh, I can see that there are quite a few tourists right over here and when you come over here to this night market wear something like singlet is fine short is fine no one is gonna judge you as long as it's comfortable for you um boy lychee hmm. and uh, sometimes you might find it that the store are selling a similar thing so depend on your luck that you can uh, try everything then you maybe you'll find a good one and oh that's quite interesting the patai cha kui teo i might want to try that later and let's keep on walking this is uh, oh the mango thai mango not bad <laughs> okay they asked to take them so they are selling the chinese style uh, skewer so they have the lamb and the pork skewer so for stick is 10 ringgit <laughs> oh okay <laughs> yeah very thick okay if you like the chinese uh, skewer <laughs> okay <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. And this is something new to me as well. Chun Jian for Ji Mian. So it's something like spring spring roll skin. It looks like a spring roll skin and then like uh, wrapped in cheese and a noodle. Interesting. Something new. It's very creative. So I should give you a try. It's uh, 15 ringgit each. Thank you. So some of the store, they uh, open it up now, set up now. But trust me, come around 5 is the uh, best. Oh, that's a very uh, thick and strong soya milk and taco ball. Ah, it's really burning hot. So here you can buy some muping. So muping is a Thai style kind of like satay thing. And uh, accessory again. And I honestly I cannot see the end of the night market. So I'm gonna keep walking and talk. So turn off the sounds that if you think that I talk too much and uh, here you can get a lot of the handphone accessory okay. ah, so this is the Korean style Pukoki. Okay. and then the Korean uh, style the uh, tempayaki thing Okay, so this is something new recently. So the guy, the store owner will like mash the lemon. And uh, these are the <laughs> shopping things again. Oh, so yeah, you can, in case you can see that, that's how they smash the lemon drinks. Hey, let's walk. And uh, this guy gonna be in trouble. He did not move his car. So I don't think he can leave until the night market is finished. And that's another Taiwanese style fried chicken usually is big uh, also recommend you to try this uh, ting ting candy is a very traditional thing so when the uh, the store owner that make this thing they're gonna make the sound ting 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 so they call it ting ting candy and then the Hong Kong candy mochi okay I never seen this before it's something new to me it's uh, called pork pie it's four ringgit each it looks like that so it looks like a pastry that wrapped in uh, pork meat and some vegetable and oh wow what is this so i can see a lot of crab right over here could be like a salt baked crab looks good and uh, smell nice and what is this <laughs> i really never see a lot of things like that before okay and some of the store they have a table over here so you can enjoy a meal uh, in a comfort so they have the pork knuckle and Thai tom yum. So this is a Thai style item, and this one is a pancake again. So uh, mataba is in an Indonesian way, so you can uh, call it pancake if you like. Accessory again. So like I say, it's a girl paradise. But uh, come early, dress lesser, keep yourself comfortable. <laughs> I'm like melting. So this is another special burger. So auntie is using the egg to uh, make it like a bun. But so you will get the burger as a uh, egg, not the bread. Quite creative, very interesting. And this is the uh, onigiri. And then uh, what is a fish paste noodle. Along the way, I really seen a lot of new creative items. So I like strongly recommend you to come again. 
Okay, this is a not so healthy thing, but it's a guilty food for you. And uh, salt baked chicken, soya milk, dim sum. I can smell the stinky tofu again. And this is some cake. So if you like some uh, sweet stuff, the tiramisu looks good. And sugar cane. So anyone uh, first time come to Asia, you should try the sugar cane. With lemon will be best. And uh, fried chicken, fried squid. So each squid that big size is only 13 ringgit. It's very affordable. And a lot of fruits. So one plate of this uh, red dragon fruit is only 10 ringgit. And then the orange without seed, it's a seedless orange pie is only 10 ringgit. Okay, I'm still going to uh, keep on walking and you can get the fresh squeezed uh, sugar cane right over here with the asam boy as well. Oh, so this is not jackfruit. We call it champada. Uh, something like a jackfruit family, but uh, something sweeter and softer. They will fry it like this and you can eat the seed. So, I uh, recommend you to try that because uh, you can't really get this most of the time. I can smell it very nice. So, uh, that's how the freshly fresh fried jambuda. Okay, let's cross the road again. Uh, I'm melting and it's been 16 minutes. I'm still half of the night market. So, back to the traditional snack and uh, squid, smelly but tasty and uh, a lot of drinks so most of the price here are quite reasonable to me so you don't have to worry about uh, their overcharge and there's a honey sweet seaweed jelly honey and a shark fin so don't worry the shark fin here is not the real shark fin and oh this is quite interesting uh, cockle and the sea snail Let's see what else is said. Hey, okay, it's uh, getting more people now. Sorry. Okay, uh, let's keep on walking. And this is another traditional pastry. Uh, it's a Teochew style. So you can see that it's quite chai kui. Uh, it's steamed with uh, what they call tapioca starch. So inside they have some chai stream or yam stream or pumpkin or lots of different types of the what they call ingredients for you to try. Okay, if you would like to have a customized screen protector, here it is. And let's keep on walking again. And you can. Uh, <laughs> 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 what is that? No, Penang. Penang. Okay, we are here. 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 Okay, we are what do you think so far like 16 minutes been passed like been uh, showing you half of the night market <laughs> and although it's called night market it's actually started early and this is Ota it's something like a mall style but in Singapore you can get that as well uh, and here is what is this the tea moping again oh this is something good you should try so uh, it's a salted egg with uh, fried anything fried chicken or fried fish so they'll mix up the salted egg sauce and it makes it very very tasty but high cholesterol so oh, I can smell the salted egg now and this is nasi lemak it looks quite nice it's a very traditional way to wrap the nasi lemak in the banana leaf <laughs> so you can come over here to try the nasi lemak they have the ikan bilis patai it's something very unique to me so the nasi lemak here is a yellowish color it's quite unique as well so let's get on walking i can feel that my gopro is like heating up so i might stop later and drinks again been talking a lot i might want to have some drinks stop later and uh, champada again facial mask and now then i see they're selling the penang thing so this is a chinese herbal that you should try uh, it can be very bitter but it's good for you uh, in case you have heaty body you should try that and that's a very cute jelly never seen that before so let's keep on walking so that's the penang style mochi and uh, barbecue so uh, barbecue sausages i can smell the stinky tofu again 
Okay. Mm, this is a uh, tempayaki prawn paste. Something new? Yeah, never seen that before. And that's a uh, pancake again. That's a uh, Indian pancake. Oy fried oyster. Oh, that's a uh, fresh oyster right over here. Trap pieces is only 18 ringgit. It's very impressive price. Or you can push it. You can barbecue it or grill it. And then the herbal drinks. Okay. What is this grill? Something grill. I saw grill abalone. So you can uh, try something good. And this is, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a China food. I noticed there's a lot of the China cuisine now compared to like 15 or 20 years ago uh, during my very first visit and actually this is my second visit it's um oh so this is a uh, mango sticky rice it's only 10 ringgit uh, i'll try later so you can come over here it, you can have a very good one uh, in kl as well and oh this one smells very good baby crab with garlic flavor baby crab original flavor and uh, tempura butter Interesting. I smell really good. Let's keep on walking. Uh, okay, you got the pan mi. So if you like to have some uh, Vietnamese food, you can come over here. The pan mi is chow ringgit and the spring roll is chow ringgit as well. Cake again. I noticed that there's a lot of the Thai style barbecue grill store and a cake as well so i believe that people here now they love uh oh that's a thai food the people here now they love the grilled food and the way they grill the fish is very interesting so it's called jitra miang pla pha so it's only 12 ringgit each oh no that's for the pork knuckle rice but the way they grill the fish is very interesting and this is a uh, chili crab lava bun also something new to me never seen that before Okay, let's keep walking a little bit. Okay, I, so the night market is going to the end in a bit, and uh, I'm melting. Goodness. So here it is the moping thing, the Thai grill thing, the fried food, and the swan la fun, uh, sour and spicy noodle, and I'm moping again. So I'm like quite tired to see the moping. Oh, I'm melting. And this is another type of the pancake. Drinks. Oh, this one is very good. Uh, Ansun Chi Chong Fan. Uh, you don't have to go Ansun to try it. But uh, let's focus on this angle first. Noodle, seaweed rice and then uh, bubble tea so the bubble tea here is about 10 ringgit it's very affordable so okay let's see uh, so the car accessory the cable the phone accessory i think they no longer allowed to sell the wave and this is something new the store looks good then the vietnamese uh, spring roll and um, oh this is another chinese thing Okay, oh, I hope that I'm going to the half. Okay, so if you like to buy some of the <laughs> backpack, not too bad to buy right over here. Oh, and okay, let me show you how crazy this place looks like. Can you see that this is the expressway and people are like parking their car at the roadside and <laughs> just come over here. Okay, let's keep continue. I might stop for the end and then get some drinks. I'm thirsty. So what is this? It's a candy. Oh, this is something very traditional. It's called fried ice cream. So they wrap the ice cream on, uh, between, uh, with uh, bread and they deep fry it. So it's cold in the inside, hot in the outside. Okay, and uh, what is this? It's mochi again. Oh. I noticed that I did not see anyone selling like seafood 
or raw meat now. I remember there will be a corner that is full of the vegetable and raw meat. Okay, I need to uh, get a place to get some drinks. Okay, finally it's the end. So it took me 25 minutes to walk over here. And uh, let's walk back now. Ah. I need to get some drinks first. And uh, this is a Hong Kong style Kai Zai Peng. Okay, this is a good stinky tofu, the crispy one. You should uh, try this one. And uh, hot dog and what? Potato roll. And that's uh, what is it? Ban Mi. It's a noodle. Uh, lots of the local they love that, but I don't really like it. I saw a lot of things I wanted to try, my god. I'm on a diet, no? Okay, and a curry fish ball, Hong Kong stuff. It's so much comfortable to walk from this side. The sunlight is not like shine through my face. Okay, lovely. So this a juice. I'm going to buy one of this juice. I'm very thirsty. The pomegranate juice. That's a China egg rolls. That when I was in Beijing, I kind of like this. So they are selling it in a very affordable price. It's only seven ringgit, but I'm sure you can get it in uh, Beijing or China. It's a cheaper price. When I was in uh, Shanghai, I also love to eat this. And this is jackfruit. So you can see the difference with the uh, champuda. Jackfruit is uh, slightly bigger and champuda got a darker color. And this is a uh, traditional popia. Wow, that's very thick. And uh, what else? The next one is uh, wine ice chili jelly. Okay, dim sums again. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's a mochi and this a uh, shrimp cake looks quite unique to me. And this one is a China barbecue skewer. Hai Mao. There's a popia again. Okay, let's keep on walk a little bit. You can see that uh, walk from this direction will be the best. So maybe when you come over here, you just try to park a little bit or alight slightly at the back. Then you can have more comfortable way to uh, enjoy this night market okay this is the uh, oyster omelet again and the oyster omelet smell very nice and i tried this uh, not too bad you can try that it's a very unique food from uh, ansun okay and uh, this is a uh, ping tang hulu something from uh, china and sushi I'm still looking for something to drink and uh, this is a picket what they call papaya you should try this this is one of my favorite and then wow that's a lot of the what they call dessert so this one is a very traditional one uh, peanut paste bobo cha cha and the green bean is something good for you to cool down and the curry fish ball fried carrot cake so the carrot cake is like this it's not the dessert so make sure when you order the carrot cake is that what met your expectation and uh, okay i still look for something to drink let me keep walk down a little bit and that is the popcorn not interested with the popcorn and then there's a seaweed rice roll Oh, there's a line for that, so I think they are actually famous at So that's a Japanese thing, but it's quite popular in Taiwan. The octopus taco ball. Oh, there's a lot of the pickle again. Tamagoyaki, and there's a line for that. Surprise. So if you like to have the fresh uh, juices, for watermelon juice is 5 ringgit only. And uh, wow, the curry smells very good. So we call it a uh, chop chai fun or we call it the uh, economy, right? Just choose whatever you want and then they'll pack it for you. And uh, staff, the staff, like, the owner is very polite. So that's like a traditional way that we have for dinner or lunch. Let's keep on walking. I think I saw a dessert store. Oh, 
this is very interesting something like a dessert ah oh something cute maybe you can uh, try i think it's sweet and i never really seen this before <laughs> and oh these are all the kui kui the blue kui is the best so uh, four boxes is only 10 ringgit very affordable and this is the dessert that from Penang very famous uh, very nice you should try that and then let's keep on walking so that's a uh, fried kway teow with a dark egg so quite recommend you to try the dark egg fried kway teow it had a very nice fragrance so the white shell is the uh, dark egg and this uh, fried pancake again it's a uh, lao tong pei so it's from china and then the the Vietnamese spring roll and ku kui it's so pretty so beautiful and uh, this is a cheese corn and they were like pull the cheese very long okay uh, another one the fried prawn paste and the bubble teas again I'm not interested with bubble tea but I smell something very good right over here okay so the black tofu is something I will recommend you to try also it's quite tasty uh, I tried that in uh, Ipo and I love it very much so the accessories again for the lady ah, I think I'm gonna like walk finish the whole stretch to show you the video then I will find things to eat for my dinner and uh, drink so let's keep walking a little bit the champuda smell very good okay so it's now halfway the battery overheated the crocs accessory and uh, let me keep walking i think i have to find something to eat because uh, the crowd is getting <laughs> bigger and bigger and uh, it's getting e difficult to walk now and uh, there's something new i'm not oh the the what they call taro ball and a hand punch lemon tea and then uh, fried milk that's something like you can get it in taiwan and uh, soya milk with the uh, red dragon fruit juice a little bit weird to me though and a fresh flower from valentine the cake and the fried stuff again and uh, this is a uh, chicken teriyaki then the hong kong style what they call intensive then uh, the crispy roasted pork oh okay they are picking up hair <laughs> then the hot mochi oh this is quite new so they poach the mochi and then they will like make it like this something new to me and the uh, bang bang potato ball sweet potato ball let's keep on walking down and i can see this is guava oh the pickle guava this is also one of my favorites so you should try that when you come to this night market they have pickled everything then the bubble tea the very old school way uh that is the uh, taiwan oyster mi sua that you can try that and i can smell the cho to, uh, the stinky tofu now it's quite good it's not smelly at all this one the deep fried style is quite nice and uh let's keep on walking hand punch lemon again the toy oh i smell something good right over here that's the pad thai and the fried chicken smell very good and uh, that is a uh, taiwan pizza which is uh, something like a uh, roti chanai with the spring onion and the shark fins don't worry not the real shark fins then i'm walking crossing another street and uh, huh. happen so girl make sure that you have some extra cash then you can do a lot of big shopping and uh, what is this again the mopings again then this uh, China style China cuisine and the pan mi here has got lots of table at the back so I think they should have a very good uh, business because that the table at the back is a lot they also have bakute 
Okay, soya milk, and that's the service again. Uh, this is fried oyster, and uh, this is Mato Yao, which is the same one that I showed you earlier. So they have two stores in this night market, and this is a mashed potato. What is this? There's a uh, China dishes again. This one is a uh, black tofu and a stinky tofu. Wow, and the stinky tofu is like really stinky. And what is this? Uh, I think something Thai. Oh, it's Asam Laksa. So the business here is very good. So it's a very uh, Penang style of food, but I don't really smell the uh, Asam Laksa smell. Oh, so it's right over here. And uh, you can uh, order right over here. Okay, so here you can buy some uh, kitchenware. And that's a rotten. If your kids is naughty, you can buy that to whack your kids. Or your husband is naughty, you can buy this to whack your husband. Hey, there's a cheese roll and a fried egg. Wow. So what is this? Ice cream. So this is good to uh, cool you down and uh, ban me again so I believe that here you can get the uh, Malaysian Chinese food and uh, Vietnamese food so, uh, a lot of Hong, uh, China style food and uh, this is a very cute water bottle so you buy this cute one and your kids will drink a lot of water and uh, Taiwanese food as well so another country food they, they love to sell here is Taiwanese food and a uh, handmade pork burger roasted pork and this one looks good okay and i think this is more on the food street fried carrot cake and then the china bun we call it a china dumpling yeah it's not really a bun but uh, in direct translate it's a bun <laughs> then uh, cold drinks again uh, Shanghai dumpling, Chongqing sour and uh, spicy noodle, the peanuts. Oh, uh, these are the nuts that you should buy. It's very great fragrance. Then they also sell some of the plant cactus. These are the plants that grow easily. So if you kill it, don't get any plant. Let's keep on walking. Oh, the cocoa jelly. This is something strongly recommend you to try. It's a uh, coconut jelly. It's very, very tasty. Okay. And the screen protectors again. It's only 18 ringgit to make a screen protector. And a lot of the water bottle. I think the people here love to drink. <laughs> so they have a big, giant, big ass water bottle. And then I think it's the end of the night market. Oh, so now I'm going to look for some place for my dinner. Then I'll tell you which one I like if I found any. And uh, okay, have to be show you a little bit more. I'll complete the end first. This is another traditional pastry. Yeah, I can get it in a mid mid autumn festival. And what is this? Oh, the Turkish delight. And fried kway teow, uh, uh, so smoky. So the business must be good. And uh, okay, end of the night market. It took me about half an hour for a quick walk. Let's go for food. Going to try this thing. Uh, it's actually just a very very spicy Korean instant noodle wrapped with the uh, Vietnamese rice roll thing you know the, the skin and with the cheese and seaweed and the, the mayonnaise it's very funny that i told them i just only want like two two or three pieces it's fine but they insist me to have four of that then i got no space to try other food later but let's give it a try let's see maybe the combination is good hmm. they are quite creative to uh, make it this way uh, they make it in like a bite size then you can uh, enjoy the instant noodle in a different texture so taste why it's just like the the burning hot instant korean instant noodle with the cheese and uh, the texture of the wrapping thing 
beverage. <laughs> but we can try. I forgot to turn on the mic, so I'm gonna do a voiceover. This is a mango sticky rice on the mic now, kid. And then uh, the big, big piece of mango with the blue color rice and the white color rice. I tasted the mango is actually very, very sweet. On the rice side, it's more on the sweeter side, uh, but the texture is a very lovely texture. One bite of the mango with the dried mung bean, it was like really, really amazing. The mango is very juicy. So if you are passing by, you see the mango sticky rice store do drop by to uh, purchase one box and share with your friend i cannot finish the whole box of the mango sticky rice the portion is a lot it's really a lot really worth for the money to buy this so it's slightly uh, comfortable right now but it's really really packed so if you come slightly later then you can have a more comfortable weather but if you come early then uh, you will come to uh, explore this night market easily. I bought this uh, pickle, the pickled pineapple, pickled papaya and pickled guava. So if you are going back, you're not going to have any food right over there. Please walk on the, this side, which is uh, more comfortable for you. You can uh, walk, leave the night market faster and more comfortable. And uh, along the way, you can see that there are actually quite a lot of seats over here that uh, some are prepared by some of the stall. But uh, to me, I think I had enough the, uh, what they call, mango sticky rice. The sticky rice are really, really stuffy. <laughs> I'm, I think that I'm going to have this with my uh, alcohol later or just like some snack. So I hope that this uh, video is helpful enough for you and then uh, it will help you to decide to visit this night market because uh, honestly, I think this is the best night market ever uh, compared to the one in Taiwan. <laughs> I love the Taiwan night market, but uh, this one is quite amazing that you have a uh, lots of food, a uh, lots of different types of food. So bad that today I came alone, then I'm not able to uh, try more food. But next time I'm going to bring Sean and I'm going to do a live stream next time. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye now. Bye-bye.